So every time when I actually press this folder button, you can see it will go into the middle neatly, it will place right in the middle of my phone. How do I do this? Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to do this and I'm gonna show you another four features inside the good lock, okay? Inside the good lock. And we're gonna go directly into home mob. If you haven't downloaded this, please download this. So today we are gonna concentrate on home mob. Haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do so. You're gonna get a lot of good information, good contents, how to use your Samsung Galaxy phone. So let's get started. What is the features inside this home mob? When you get to the home mob, you can see there's actually quite a bit of things right here. So first of all, we are gonna talk about the home screen. When you go to the home screen, the first thing I would like to show you is it's actually DIY home screen. So you have to click this, okay, turn this on, and then just turn all these. So what does that mean is, if you actually on the home screen right here, you can press any space in the middle, you can see there's a DIY home. So when I press this, now you can actually adjust anything you want. Let's just say for example, right here, there's like this like a tech cloud logo right there. And I wanna use my folder to cover this. Just because of my DIY, now I will able to do this and cover the whole entire thing. And then when I'm done, and I just unhighlight it, and then that's it. So anything you want to highlight, you can just tap, you can see it's already highlighted and now you can spin, you can make it bigger, smaller, you can do overlap, whatever you want, okay? And then you can even press this button, whoever you want to go on the top, bottom, whatever you want. And then now, when you're done, you just press again. Now it's not highlighted, you go to the next thing. So this whole thing, you can just basically customize the whole homepage, whatever you want. And in addition, you can actually go into the bottom here, you can add any type of pictures all you want, okay? You can see there's so many different pictures. Let's just say if you want to put a chihuahua there, now you put a chihuahua there. And remember, all these is based on your stickers as well, as well too. So if you add your own stickers before, everything is here. This is my sticker, you can see that. I add this myself from draw assistance, all right? So this is feature number one. The feature number two is, it's actually right down here, pop-up folders, okay? We're gonna go in there, and now you can see small, medium, large. So how big your folder want to look like, right? You want the folder look medium size, large size, whatever you want. And at the bottom here, you can see position, central, fixed section. So this one here, which means that if I turn this off, now when I turn on a folder, it will be at the bottom right there. You can see that, right? Now let's just say if I want to turn this on now, now I go back outside, now it will be right in the middle, very neatly. So it's actually right inside here, okay, home screen. This is the DIY. Go all the way to the bottom, you can see pop-up folders, and then you can go to the central fixations. Number three features is, is actually right here, the photo screen grid. This is actually very important if you want to uh, let your photo look a little bit better, okay? So this is here, you can suggest what, how much, like how many icon do you want in the folder, okay? So let's just say seven by seven, when you press apply. So when I go in here, you can see, you can actually put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? So now let's just say I only need five icon. So you can actually go back inside and just tell them you want five, okay? And then when you press apply, now it will look a little bit better. You can see that, okay, very neatly, fill the spot, and this is five times five. So the number four important features you want to know is actually right here, the edge panel. When you click on here, 
This is the very important way to actually fulfill everything here. You can see my edge panel, there's so many apps right here, right? Because I turned this on. If you do not turn this on, okay, then your icon will be, your side panel will be a little bit different. You can see that, okay? Very minimized, two row. Now, if I turn this on, you can see it's become three row. And I think this edge panel is super, super important. I think everybody should use this. And at the bottom here, it will show you the recent app at the top right here. So this is the recent app. This is the AI. So if you turn this off, the recent app is not there. And I think this is actually much easier to use this than using this right here. So if you press the recent button right there, this is how it looks, right? And a lot of people say, hey, can I change the style of this? Yes, you can. You can actually go into the home up again, okay? So we're gonna go into the home up, and then you can actually change the way that it looks, okay? Go to the home up, and then we are gonna go to text changer. You must turn this on, and now you can change the way you like. Some people do like a different way. It's because it's very easy to see if you do multitasking. You can see right here, if I do this, now you can actually look at, let's just say you want to copy this from to here, it's easier for you to see, you know what I mean? And then you can see everything right here. What do you have currently right now running at the background? Pretty, pretty simple. And then in addition, if you like this, you can turn on mini mode. Okay, when you turn on this mini mode, it will turn out to be like this. Okay, and I'm not sure what's the purpose of doing this, but if you like everything super mini, miniature, this is the way to do it, all right? Please subscribe my channel and share this video, and I hope these five features on the home map helps you a lot to design your phone, and stay tuned my next video, and I will give you something very, very cool, and have a good day. Bye-bye, peace out.